What's up, Zilla Nation? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mocha Black Dynamite, Zilla Chronicles 52 Latimer in the building, man. How y'all feeling today, man? Black Dynamite out. You know how it go. So anyways, y'all, how we feeling, man? It's another Sunday fun day. I'm at work. Sorry about my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been having issues with my acid reflex lately. So um, I've been kind of jacked up. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things today. I got hella things to upload for y'all probably tonight at some point. Um, I'm probably three or four days. I'm no, hold on, hold on, let's see, hold up. Uh, let's see. Thursday, Friday. Probably got like four days of post to put up on Instagram, and I probably I got like three or four videos I need to throw up for you guys just to get you updated. Um, sorry about that, man. Just been getting everything situated. Plus, my mother's birthday's coming up, so big shout out to my lovely mother. I love you, mom, with all my heart. Great, great, great. Happy birthday to a special woman. I'm blessed to have her in my life and she's still on this planet. You know what I'm saying? I don't take those things for granted. Um, <clears throat> What I want to discuss with y'all today, just to give y'all a little update and let y'all know what's going on and how I'm feeling. You know, a lot of things have been going on in regards to after the Oscars with Will Smith smacking the shit out of uh, Chris Rock. And I wanted to, you know, it, it opened up a lot of things because I had a lot of conversations with a lot of people. Um, I ended up getting a haircut the other day, looking, looking a little fresh, you know, told y'all trying to stay fresher, weather's breaking. Um, <clears throat> you know, told to a lot of people, getting opinions and stuff like that. Um, I'm 50-50 on the situation, but just hear me out, y'all. <clears throat> Number one, <clears throat> I'm going to put it in perspective like this because I'm going off what I experience and deal with in my life. So number one, let me explain something to y'all. I'm not saying Chris Rock was wrong or right, but in my opinion, um, you know, it's not, here's the, let me really just, this, let me just get into it really deep. Number one, it wasn't that, you know, here's my thing. You don't know what Jada and Will are going through behind closed doors. You know, a lot of things have been exposed with them in the past year or so. You know what I'm saying? But here's my whole thing. Jada didn't cut her hair. She lost her hair. So she has a medical condition. And my thing is, man, just in my experiences over the years of things I've dealt with, because my mouth has got me in trouble, even though I won't even be on some shit. But I know how sensitive people are. And I know it myself, when I say certain things to people, it's a problem. But when other people say the same thing that I've said, it's not a problem. And by the way, I love everybody. Love Yazilla Nation. That's why that's up there. So, you know, <clears throat> I'm not saying Will was wrong or right. I liked it to a degree because here's my thing. If Chris Rock and Olin are cool, and it's not like Chris Rock, to me, in my opinion, I don't think Chris Rock, you can't tell me he didn't know that, um, you know, she had that condition. So to say the G.I. Jane comment on on live TV and shit like that is kind of fucked up, in my opinion. I wouldn't have done it, but, you know, everybody, it is what it is. In my opinion, I liked it that he, he I liked that he went up there and smacked the shit out of him because that's the old school shit right there. That's what I grew up on. You don't disrespect somebody's wife. Now, if he would have made that joke and she purposely cut her hair for a movement or something like that, that'd be different. But let's be real. When a female's going through something, or just anybody in general, but I'm a basis off a female, you don't know how she feels about that. Like, yeah, they rich, all this other stuff. But, you know, for a woman to lose her hair, that's a big thing for somebody for self-image, in my opinion. So you don't know if she had a meltdown before then and saying like, yo, well, you know, this is blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I feel some type of way, my hair, blah, blah, blah. You don't know. And again, I'm not taking sides with any anything. This is just my personal opinion and how I feel with the whole breakdown of shit. Because back in the day, you wouldn't have got away with no shit like that. You say some like that about somebody's wife when we had the real real relationships back in the day, that would probably happen. You get you get your ass whooped. You know what I mean? Once once a wife a husband found out you say some shit about their wife, you getting your ass whooped. I know my dad back in the day would fuck somebody up. You talk about my mother. Shit, I fuck somebody up. You talk about my mother. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm, I'm I'm not getting into all the other preliminary things. Like, you know, she had her entanglement and all this other shit, whatever, whatever. My thing is, if you cool with somebody, like, I would never do that to my godmother, NASCAR, my mom, my best friend, Jay Mills, and his wife. I would never do no shit like that, even as joking. Because when it comes to a woman's appearance, that's a big thing, in my opinion. You know, now, maybe people may comment and say no, say yes, hey. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. And as I'm getting older now, man, the way I feel is the way I feel. I really don't, you know, a lot of people probably disagree with the way I am and who I am and what I do and what I say. That's your business. Don't fuck with me then. You know what I'm saying? When it gets down to the nitty gritty. 
But in that regards to him smacking the shit out of Chris Rock, I thought it was great to a degree. Could in, in any situation, let's really fuck up the game. You could always handle a situation better. Let's let's be honest. It could have been anything. He could have stepped, you know, they could have been at the after party, beat the shit out of him. You never know. But then it would have been like, well, why did he wait so long to do something to him? He should have went up there and did this. So at the end of the day, it's always going to be something that could have happened, should have happened or not happened, whatever, whatever. It's always going to be some little formality with it. I I personally, in my opinion, on me looking at it, yes, he smacked him. Um, did Jada feel some type of way? Cause he was making a quote unquote joke about her. And you know, Chris Rock is really raw at these awards. Remember he did this shit years ago when he's remember he said, uh, crackers with attitudes, all that other stuff. So I'm not saying Chris Rock is racist or anything on that sort, but you, you know, everybody has their natch or niche, however you want to put it for me. It's just, just the way. And I talked to uh, quite a few people about this and I was, it was, it was funny cause I was at the barber shop and I was talking to the, my two of my barbers, <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Uh, having issues. Oh, excuse me. Then, of course, I'm vlogging and I start coughing and all this other stuff. <laughs> so, we talked about it at the barbershop. We talked to a couple other people about it. And it's just one of them type deals. Like, I always feel like it's a lack of respect in society today. So, people get real comfortable and get flatulent with their mouth and think they can say whatever they want. I disagree. Like, you know, it's a time and place for everything. If I was Chris Rock and I'm not, I wouldn't have said nothing because it, it's just a, it's to me, it's just more so the point, you know, it was, it was about, you know, he called the GI Jane too. And I think that chick in real life actually cheated on her man that was in GI Jane. So you take that shit a little deeper, you know, there's other formalities to that story or him making that comment. But for me, I just, uh, <sighs> sorry. <coughs> coffin so for me i wouldn't have said nothing i did enjoy that he smacked the shit out of him because like i said back in the day dudes wouldn't do that it ain't gonna be no jokes like that because a real man is gonna stand up for his woman now again i'm taking all the other things into account that you don't know what's going on behind closed doors and let's 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 put it out here for everybody men and women men let's say your wife lost all her hair would if someone if one of your friends made that same joke in front of a big crowd and she lost her hair for a medical condition, how would y'all feel? You know, let's, 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 let's take it even deeper. How many women have lost their hair because of cancer and chemotherapy? Would everybody feel the same way if he would have made that same comment because of that result? You know, that's just me. You know, I try to take account into people's feelings because sometimes I'll be real with y'all. I really don't care a lot of times about people and how they feel. I'm going to say what I have to say. That's a flaw of mine. I shouldn't do that. You know, I try to respect people the best I can, but I'll be real with y'all. A lot of times I don't respect a lot of people. I don't respect a lot of things. Sorry, I got to put this on the charger. So that's that's definitely an issue of mine. But at the same token, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, man, on that type of platform, yes, it's always a better way you could have did things, you know. But, you know, life is life. The shit happened. He did what he had to do. He did what he wanted to do. He did what he felt was right at that time. I just wanted to share. It's been on my mind since it happened because... Make y'all laugh when it happened. I had just got to work and I was getting situated and a coworker of mine showed me that he Will Smith smacked the shit. Everybody thought it was fake. I didn't. You know, I kind <coughs> of to me, it wasn't fake because when he sat back down and said, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've seen and experienced that in my past with my own family. <laughs> so when a man says that, he ain't joking. I don't give a fuck. He got an Oscar for whatever award of acting. He was passionate about what he said. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. But I, I just felt like sharing that with y'all. Like, I don't know why it was on my mind. I was thinking about it a lot. And I was like, you know, what? let me make a video about it just to see what everybody feels and if, see if I get any feedback from it. You know, I just know for myself, I try to not saying I walk on eggshells. I try to be as respectful as possible. And I try to watch what I say to a degree, even though it's kind of contradicting what I said earlier. But I do. I always on my predator vision in regards to people, because you know what? I, it was funny. A uh, big shout out to Kinesis and Easton, um, the pudding bar, one of my favorite spots. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Damn, man. It's killing me, man. Got a bunch of congestion. This, this bipolar weather killing me. Anyways, 
like I was stating, you know, we always talk to a lot of places I do business with in regards to my food vlogs and all that stuff. I talk to the owners and just get their opinion because I experienced so much over the years with, you know, people taking things personal. And I, don't, I don't feel like the statement I said was personal or off the chain, you know, but as you're dealing with different personalities and people, you know, you got to take all that into account. And I always tell people, man, like just because I'm free spirited and vibing, that don't mean everybody else is going to be, you know, and that's why I told y'all, man, I really just I try to be myself as much as possible and I try to keep it 100 as best as I can, you know, and people take shit the wrong way. It is what it is. I'm not going to change who I am, you know, like, yes, <coughs> do I predator vision a situation and try to feel everything out? And I always think before I speak, I'll try to jump off the handle. But, you know, sometimes, man, you say what you say, you feel what you feel. So I don't know. It's one of those type things, man. I guess that situation is always going to be a what if with the Will Smith, Chris Rock thing. So it is what it is. I know for me, once a man would have came down, swung at me, we would <coughs> have tackled his ass. <laughs> it would have been bloop, you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. But otherwise, Little Nation, I'm doing great. The house is coming along. Um, getting my health better. Um, back into working out. I'm just, uh, I'm a little congested, but also, too, my allergies. We got to change the weather going back and forth. So I've been back on my supplements heavy. And just uh, getting things right. I wanted to share this video with y'all, man. Tell everybody I love y'all in the Zilla Nation. It's right up there. Thank y'all. And um, we're going to be back on this grind now, man. April's going to be a great month. Got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to handle. And a lot of big things coming up behind the scenes, man. So I love all y'all, man. Big shout out to NASCAR Gang Gang. Big shout out to Big E. Big shout out <coughs> to One Busy Mama. And big shout out to everybody who's supporting the channel, hating on the channel. I support everybody. Thank y'all. All the buffoonery and fuckery, it is what it is. Big shout out to my sister, Jerea. Big shout out to my boy, Big Brian. Big shout out to just, you know, I don't really have a big dot. And uh, I want to just always give them a special shout out. Jay Mills, my second mom, Lorraine, my mom, my dad, my brother, all the fam, man. I love y'all, man. Let's keep going to the top, baby. Peace.